Hello, everybody. I'd like to present some uh, main principles of our analysis. Okay, so uh, we want to select the best practices in each category. So, for example, micro uh, credit fund or internalization based on the analysis of the synopsis which you sent to us. It will be carried out based on the benchmarking process and this process consists in improving the efficiency of an organization by identifying, analyzing, adapting and implementing solutions used by the most effective organizations. So, this is uh, the task from our component three and component four. And uh, this will be done according to the following procedure. Uh, first, selection of regions which with good practice in supporting small and medium-sized enterprises. Second, comparative analysis and assessment of good practices. Uh, which support the operation and development of SMEs in the selected regions. And uh, this assessment will be carried out uh, using a multi-criteria analyze, uh, which use the models for solving three types of problems. Classification, ranking and selection of the optimum or the optimal solution. Ranking methods can be considered as a special case of the optimal choice of models. The variant occupying the first position in the ranking can be considered optimal. And uh, this will enable the selection of optimal instruments, or we can say best practices, for support small and medium sized enterprises, of course, in terms of the adopted criteria. And uh, I chose the following criteria. Uh, the first group is uh, additional support, grace period, interest rates, decision making, so how long, difficulty of the application process, networking, and maximum percent of the SME investment. In my opinion, the three criteria which are underlined should be decreased. The second group, accepted applications, submitted applications, funds for SME, budget, new enterprises, funds for SME, new jobs, funds for SME. You have received this criteria, so maybe I will go further. The third group, new enterprises, administrative cost, new jobs, administrative costs, accepted applications to employed personnel, accepted applications to decision making, so how long, etc. <laughs> and now, uh, uh, the adapted criteria should be chosen by the group of experts. Uh, so, you are the experts. And in connection to this, they need to answer the following questions. First, should we use this criterion? Second, is this criterion more important than the others? Or maybe are all criteria equally important? Of course, it would be easier for us to make uh, the analysis. Should the criterion be increased or decreased? And the last one, are there any optimal, the best amount of the criterion? So, I suppose you have some ideas about this uh, criteria. And uh, so I'm interested in your opinion about this. What do you think about this? What do you think about these questions? Should we use all these criteria or maybe only some of them? Uh, 
For example, uh, the first thing which uh, is uh, difficult, uh, I think, is interest rates. So, I think, in my opinion, we should uh, decrease the interest rates. Of course, if, if we are talking about the microcredit funds, but uh, of course, it means that our funds uh, will not have big profits. So, what do you think about this? Is there an let's say an optimal amount of this interest to trades? Because we have some uh, instruments in our meeting in Tallinn, so we know that some of the microcredit funds have interest rates at about six. 5% and some others are below, uh, not below, but uh, um, are 1% or even 0%. Yes? It depends on what you, what you want to, uh, what your objective with the interest rate. Mm -hmm. uh, whenever you have a high interest rate, it's a stronger motivation for an SME company to pay you back. It gives them a stronger motivation to be successful with the company. Lower interest rate uh, well, will not really push him to pay back. So it depends on what you want to reach. Mm -hmm. in, another, in another way, we know that the price is set by the market. We don't decide the market price. So the interest of whatever, well, has to be decided by the market. So mm -hmm. it's, that's, that's there too. What is, what, how is the offer? Well, um, we suppose that uh, the interest rates uh, should be lower than, the, uh, than in the market. So, for example, in the commercial banks. But we have instruments like uh, in Lithuania, where the interest rates is about uh, 5 to 6 percent, as I remember. And, for example, in Sardinia, we have 0 percent. So, so that's the thing which is, uh, I think, uh, well, quite difficult. And uh, maybe some other things. Accepted applications, submitted applications. So, I think that uh, this criteria, or this, this criteria on this indi indicator should be increased. Uh, on the other hand, uh, we want to have many projects and then we can choose the best. So if we increase this criteria, it means that we have many accepted applications of those who are uh, submitted. So do you think that we should increase or decrease this criteria? And uh, the third one, uh, which I think is also uh, interesting and difficult, is uh, the criterion employed personal administrative costs. So we want to have efficient organization, efficient instrument, but on the other hand, it means that we should uh, pay lower wages for our uh, experts, let's say. So, what to do? What does science, what does science say? Mm -hmm. What's your opinion about this? So uh, we want to choose the instruments which is the most efficient. So the most efficient, it means that uh, we use our money in the most efficient way. So we want to uh, make very big administrative cost because we want to have funds for our SMEs. 
On the other hand, we want to employ people who are experts in this field. So that's why I think this is an uh, important issue. So maybe uh, we will uh, back to this in the evening. Mm -hmm. I see here uh, some items which, uh, which have to do with the reduce of uh, the cost of fund. Mm -hmm. So organizing an investment fund in one way or another costs money. Uh, and I see some of the uh, proposed criteria which have to do with the, the cost of fund. So you might say you want to be efficient in that way. Um, well, one of the objectives of us is to find one, one way or another to finance as many companies, startup companies, but with the lowest cost of fund. So then you can cluster some of these proposed criteria in that, in that area, mm -hmm. which causes the lowest cost of fund. On the other hand, you want to be the most successful of course. You want to have money back. If you have That's right. money back, you can redo the investment again. So you have a very long impact on the economy. So you might also say, like, if you want to achieve a very like, deep and intense but short time impact, uh, you can cluster some of the criteria around that. You can also say, well, we want to have a long lasting impact on the economy. Uh, so then we really you want to have the quality of your SMEs better in the initial phase than like with a the, with the short term impact. So maybe you can do something with timeline and with the cost of fund. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, the second uh, task for us, uh, so for the scientific partners, is also to uh, scrutinize the correlation be between these uh, criteria. And uh, the last thing which I want to present to you is the, the question of uh, synopsis, because uh, we have uh, said the synopsis, my colleague Ukash. Uh, did this, and uh, uh, here we have some uh, a table, and in this table we have uh, three colors. The green, it means that the information was provided. The yellow, it means that information was given unclear, but not yet available. And the red, no information given. And here we have our partners, and uh, some green colors. So thank you very much for your work. Uh, we have also some yellow colors, but there are still uh, red colors. So I would like kindly ask you to send the synopsis to us and <coughs> uh, help us to achieve the goal of our project. So I mean DFAS project. Okay, so thank you very much for your attention. Maybe uh, we will have to uh, back to this and maybe some ideas will come to you and uh, I'm here until Friday. You can contact with me and say some more opinion about this criteria. Thank you very much. Anyone have any, <laughs> any questions now or do you want to take that? Don't move. How are you going to take this further? Uh, you had some, re but not so much, but a lot, some feedback from the audience. Mm -hmm. uh, so what are you going to do? So uh, I'm going to end this work uh, until uh, the end of December. December. So I'm going to uh, choose this uh, criteria and then I'm going to analyze uh, these uh, instruments and uh, in Krakow, in, at our next meeting, I will present to you the results uh, which uh, are about uh, microcredit funds and which are about internalization.